hi guys welcome back to another video now in this video i know it looks exactly the same setup as the other video but in this video i want us to test out starlink versus 5g internet now here in kenya we have several internet service providers but in case of 5g the first and obvious service provider will be safaricom so i want us to test out safaricom 5g and see what speeds we get with that and then compare it to Starlink. So already in my mind, I know Safaricom is going to win, but Safaricom is basically very good in this country because they did their infrastructure from scratch. They pulled their own C cable and they did their own wiring infrastructure. So they've always been good at this. So let's see how it goes. I want to do a, a recording, a screen recording and uh, I'll switch off my Wi-Fi and connect to cellular, which is my ISP right now, 4G, 5G. So I, I just want to check whether I have any data bundles on Safaricom. And yes, I seem to have 2 gig, only 2 GB left on my, on my, I usually buy a monthly bundle for 5G because I like the speeds. And uh, I like it because it's good enough, especially for the work I do, which is live streaming. And whenever you are live streaming, you need the absolute best speeds. There's no compromise. And so far, Safaricom hasn't disappointed me. There's another ISP called Airtel, but they have really good speeds, but I noticed that theirs is fluctuating depending on the location you are at. So let's do the first speed test for Safaricom 5G. Right now, I only have two bars, guys two bars on Safaricom 5G. Two bars might seem like Kidogo, or it might seem like it's too little, but it might surprise you. Let's run the speed test. Go. <sighs> Let's wait and see. Two bars. Two bars. Two bars, bruh. Two bars is giving us 239, 240. My gosh. I know Starlink was meant to come and replace Safaricom, but uh, it's not looking good for Starlink because the speeds here are just crazy. Just look at this, 242 megabits per second on the download and 60. 60 is more than enough. It's good for gaming, it's good for live streaming, it's good for uploading stuff. Man, Safaricom 5G, it's really good. I just want to do one last test again, just to make sure that... <laughs> and now it's only one bar, remember? Right now I only have one bar. And I'm still getting 200 plus megabits. This is crazy. Man, Safaricom really know their shit. Like I know it's, it's really good. I'm even getting 70 on the upload now. <laughs> It's almost sitting 80. 80! Oh boy. Okay. I know this is crazy, but as you can see, Safaricom 5G in Kenya is really good. 244 megabits on the download and 78 megabits on the upload. Now I want to connect. Let me switch off my cellular and go back to Wi Fi. I'll just connect the Starlink straight away, Josh underscore Starlink. Once I'm connected, I'll, I'll go to the Starlink app before I even do Ookla. And let me say it's saying I'm online. Let's do a speed test. 152. Ooh. Oh boy. I think it had me praise Safaricom 5G because <laughs> it's doing the most. 136 Mbps. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's good but the upload speed cannot compare. Like I'm getting 5.5 megabits on the upload on Starlink, while on Safari on 5G, it was 80 Mbps. You can't compare five to 80. That's like how many times? Four? Hey, over 10 times. Actually over 20 times. Bruh, this is crazy. I know, but I know while you are in the city in Nairobi, I think it will be advisable for you to just stick to your Safaricom or your home home Wi-Fi because it's really that good. Actually, let me do another speed test on Ookla now for the Starlink setup. SpaceX by Starlink. Let's see how this, this one goes. I'm actually very excited for this science experiment. Ooh, 40, 50, 60, 70, 
80, 90. Okay, we are struggling to hit 90 on the download, 84 Mbps on the download. And uh, last time we got 5.5 on the upload. Let's see what we get now. Let's see, I'm curious. Less than five? Oh gosh, this is bad. Okay, 3.62 on the upload. Now, just to be fair, I did two or was it three speed tests for Safaricom 5G. So let me do one more speed test for Starlink. Let's see how it's, it will perform. I'm curious, guys. I'm really curious. This is actually quite interesting for me. And it's nighttime. So I need to go back to the house and take my rest for the day. Ooh, 20 gig. 20 meg down, 20 meg, 20 meg, 30, 40, 50. Okay. 80, 90, 100. Okay, 108 down. And 6.5 up. That's good enough. So the essence of these two is that Starlink is good because you can go with it anywhere. As for Safari from coverage, there are areas in Kenya where there's no there's, there's no reception at all, so you might struggle. But if you have Starlink in the middle of nowhere, you'll still get internet. So there you go, guys. Everything has an advantage and a disadvantage. So yeah, you pick and choose, pick and choose. Starlink is good for shags. That's why I'm planning to take my Starlink over to Makweni County in Kambani so that they can test it out for everyone who wants to buy this setup for their households back there so yeah it's been good guys can't wait to see you guys on the next video if you have maybe you want us to go test it out at your place which is outside Nairobi and you want to facilitate that the details are in the description box feel free to feel free to support the channel guys yeah so it's been good make sure to like and subscribe and share sharing is caring share this video to your friends so that they know what's up it's been good guys peace